or the United States basically has had uh, six vital interests in cooperation with countries like Saudi Arabia, where I was ambassador. Uh, one, of course, was a bargain that in return for preferred access to the region's energy, we would protect it against outside forces. A second was that uh, we would uh, rely on the Saudis and others uh, to be our advocates and spokesmen within the world of Islam and to deny use of Mecca and Medina, the two holy cities in Saudi Arabia, uh, to the third being Jerusalem, um, to spokespersons for the extremist uh, Muslim terrorists uh, whose uh, attention we have, have attracted. Uh, the third uh, reason for our, our third interest is overflight. You can't get between Asia and Europe except over that territory and the adjoining countries. Iran is banned, is, is barred to us. Egypt plays an important role in such transit. Um, the United States would not be a world power if it could not have a permissive overflight environment there, which we have had. Um, it has been, that region has been uh, more than 50% of all U.S. markets from Morocco to India, historically. Uh, it has been very oriented toward the United States. That is much less the case now. Our largest trading partner in the region now is the United Arab Emirates, um, which has overtaken Saudi Arabia in that regard, as countries in the region turn to China and other sources of consumer goods. Uh, and engineering services. Um, the, uh, the cultural exchange is part of that commercial relationship. Uh, we've had a very large number of students from the Gulf, very briefly um, uh, uh, limited and uh, reduced after 9-11, uh, but now restored and uh, a substantial source of income uh, for and diversity for American uh, universities. Uh, historically, uh, the, the, re the countries uh, in the region, and especially Saudi Arabia, have been the private financiers of U.S. foreign policy. Um, that is not possible because of financial constraints that the war I just described um, uh, actually uh, imposed. And finally, uh, we have the same enemies in the ter Islamist terrorists who have assaulted us. Al-Qaeda's main objective in attacking the United States was to weaken the bonds between us and uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, whose government they consider illegitimate, un-Islamic, and deserving to be overthrown. Uh, so the interests are much more than, than energy. But in the current era in which, uh, at least for a time, uh, before the global depression began, uh, the uh, United States uh, what well, became again a net exporter of energy, thanks to fracking. Uh, this made the United States, rather than Saudi Arabia, the uh, swing producer in the global energy market. And it greatly reduced the importance to us, if you think bilaterally, of the, of the middle of the Persian Gulf uh, region. Uh, on the other hand, uh, that region continues to be central to global prosperity including that of our allies in Europe and Japan, uh, Korea, including uh, the uh, major markets for the United States outside that region. Uh, so uh, we continue to have a very important interest in uh, the security of the, of the region's energy resources and in their uh, availability uh, to uh, Europeans and Asians.